Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today we are going to compare the Tapo C120 to the Wisecam V4. These two cameras, as to their specs and features, they are very similar. I have individual reviews of these cameras, I will link them down below if you haven't seen them yet. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. Both cameras can record to a micro SD card inserted on the camera themselves, motion events or 24-7 recordings. Both have an option for cloud recordings with subscription, but the Wise is more crippled without the subscription. You will not get smart AI detection and notifications. As for the Tapo, you will get all the features of the camera including its smart detection and the only thing you will not get is rich notifications or the snapshots. Most of you that is going to buy the Tapo is most likely going to use it without a subscription and for the wise you will most likely need to get the subscription to use it and this can be a deal breaker for some of you wise though offers unlimited or up to 99 cameras for 99 bucks a year and you would pay more with tapo if you plan to subscribe now let's get to video quality so this is uh, the comparison video between the tapo c120 compared to the wise cam version 4 Video clarity test at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So this is uh, the comparison video between the Tapo C120 compared to the Wisecamp version 4. Video clarity test at 10 feet. 50. 20. 25. 30. 35. The Tapo C120 has a wider field of view compared to the Wisecam V4. Both cameras have starlight sensors and this is what they look like side by side with some ambient lighting in my backyard. You can see a little bit more with the Wisecam V4, but normally their starlight sensors will be supplemented by their spotlights when motion is detected. And the Tapo C120 has a more warmer yellow light compared to the Wisecam V4. So this is the video quality of the Wisecam version 4 at night and this with spotlights turned on. This one looks like a dead peak. 50. 20. 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Tapo C120 at night, and this with the two spotlights turned on, and this one looks like a 10 feet. 50, 20, 25, 30. Both have infrared LEDs also if you don't want to use the spotlight. So this is the video quality of the Wisecam version 4 at night and this with its 4 infrared LEDs turned on and this one looks like a 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Tapo C120 at night and this uh, spotlight saw and there's two infrared LEDs and this one looks like a 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
we are going to compare the uh, alert notification speeds between the Tapo C120 and the Wisecam V4. Now, both of them have the uh, cloud recording option. I, I'm on a trial on the Tapo. Uh, I just want to see uh, side by side uh, how it compares with rich notifications on both. And now it's 12.18 and I'm on my 5G cellular network. Let's check it out. Now slides on both of them at the same time. Both of them gave me notification at the same time. With the Wise, you can snooze the camera alerts. With the Tapo, it's just a snapshot. Cool. 1218. Okay, it's 1219. Let's see if there is a notification cool off on both of them. It it shouldn't be, but we'll check it out. It's less than a minute. Oh, now Tapo. Tapo is quicker this time. All right, so I turned off the rich notification on the Tapo, like simulating that you don't have a subscription. So let's check it out just to uh, compare the notification speeds. Yeah, see, it's quicker. And the thing about the Tapo and the Wise too. And when you click on this, you can get the, to the live view pretty quick. So you really don't need the rich notification. We are going to compare the uh, maximum detection distance on both of them. And I've set the sensitivity of the Ys to the maximum. And both have person detection only turned on. 40 feet. Oh, that was quick. Wow. All right. That, and that's with a snapshot. Just getting off the, uh, out the shed there. And how about the B4? Yeah, it's the same. Cool. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam V4. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam V4. This is the audio quality coming out from the Tapo C120. This is the audio quality coming out from the Tapo C120. Now, Tapo has a siren or alarm, but you cannot manually trigger it. It will only go off when a person is detected. With WISE, you can only manually trigger the siren, but has a motion warning feature, which you can choose just a tone or Hi, you are currently being recorded. It also has a time lapse and the smart focus feature. But Tapo is one of the few apps that you can stream four cameras at a time. So what do you think? Comment down below which one you like better. Both of them perform very well in my testing. And I think it's more which ecosystem you like better, WISE or TAPO. And I know some of WISE users have moved to TAPO, especially that they're now focusing on a subscription-based model. Which, by the way, I almost forgot. The WISECAM V4 doesn't support RTSP, while TAPO C120 does. So you can use the TAPO C120 without a subscription and able to use all of its features except for the snapshots, which also means faster notifications. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.